Hi, I'm Senior Airman Shelby Horn with 349th Air Mobility Wing Public Affairs. Leading up to our wing's 75th anniversary on November 1st, we're highlighting a new aircraft each week and the reserve citizen airmen that have served America since our inception as a 349th Troop Carrier Group in 1943. Last week, we looked at the jets our wing flew during our brief time as a 349th Fighter Bomber Wing in the early 1950s. Today, we're highlighting the Fairchild C-119 flying boxcar, like the one behind me. In 1957, our wing was redesignated to 349th Troop Carrier Wing Medium, and with this new designation, our crews were given the difficult task of transitioning from jet engine fighters back to propeller-driven cargo planes. The unique-looking C-119 was a twin-engine, twin-boom, and twin-tail aircraft, and was a redesign of the C-82 Packet, which was intended to succeed previous cargo aircraft like the C-47 Skytrain and the C-46 Commando. The aircraft's unusual appearance was similar to that of a railroad boxcar, and when troops began calling it the flying boxcar, it stuck, and the C-119 became an aircraft known almost exclusively by its nickname rather than its model. The cockpit of the boxcar was flush with the nose, which resulted in more usable cargo space. Thanks to its powerful Pratt & Whitney engines, its wide, strong airframe, and its clamshell-style cargo doors at the rear of the plane, the boxcar could carry up to 30,000 pounds of cargo, 68 fully equipped troops, or 35 litter patients in their attendance. During the past few weeks, we've discussed the significant military operations the 349th Troop Carrier Group and 349th Fighter Bomber Wing supported during wartime and peace. In the 1960s, the 349th continued to support the war effort in Vietnam, but also lent an important helping hand during domestic crises close to home. In 1964, Humboldt County, California was hit with a deadly combination of weather events that triggered a flood that was coined the disaster of the century. 349th Citizen Airmen and our boxcars jumped to action and performed the unique mission of delivering mail through the flood-stricken areas of Northern California, earning the wing a United States Postal Service citation. That same year, Montana was hit with a blizzard that blocked roads with heavy snow and had temperatures as low as 40 degrees below zero. Thousands of cattle and sheep were killed and hundreds of thousands more were in danger. The state of California appealed for military assistance and the 349th responded with Operation Haylift. Our C-119 air crews airdropped over 40 tons of hay and livestock feed over stranded cattle herds that had gone without food for four days. With the help of our trusty boxcars, the 349th Troop Carrier Wing became the first Air Force Reserve Wing to win an Air Force Outstanding Unit Award. Thank you for joining the 349th Air Mobility Wing as we celebrate 75 years of dedicated service. We look forward to seeing you again next week when we'll pay tribute to the C-124 Globemaster II and the Reserve Citizen Airmen who flew her. If you would like to be part of the 349th's rich history and exciting future serving our country, we have part-time and full-time positions that may be perfect for you. Just contact one of our recruiters at 707-424-0981. We'll see you next week. Here's our recruiter's information again.